Hello guys and welcome again to my channel. So in this video I want to do a demonstration on how to install a PHP code formatter. So what I mean is this, you can see that my code is totally disorganized here. Okay, in this uh, file called front uh, slash front page.php. So you can see that the code is disorganized, but then if I save so let me just show you first uh, let me uh, go to the extensions and then i'll search for php uh, cs fixer you can see it's here and it is installed so i just want to disable it okay um, and let me just reload And you can see that if I save this file, nothing happens. Uh, it's, it remains just the way it was, right? Just in this disorganized manner. So, in this disorganized state. So, I want to solve that. And for me to do that, I use uh, you use this extension called a uh, PH, PHP CS Fixer. Uh, and just I want to go to that extension again. Let me just search for it. CS fixer. Um, there are many, but you'll have to search for just uh, you'll have to search for this in small letters and you'll find it here PHP CS fixer. Just PHP CS fixer, no hyphens, right? And so I want to enable it, okay? And it is now enabled globally. Now, after enabling. I'll come here and save and you'll see what happens. Just look at the, the how this page is going to be formatted. So I'll just save by doing control S and you can see it has formatted this page nicely. So that's uh, the extension that I want to show you how to install it. So I'm going to follow this article that I'm going to leave in the uh, in the comment section in the description the description section and um the first thing you have to do is to install uh, globally. So you can just open your terminal anywhere in your machine and use this command composer global require friends of PHP slash PHP CS fixer. So I'm just go to the project here. I've already installed, but I just I'm just going to redo it. So I'll just open a new terminal and right here I'll paste that command and hit enter. And you can see it has been installed. So after that, uh, the next step is uh, installing that extension. Okay. So you can do that from the VS code. So what you have to do, is just come to your Visual Code Studio here. And then you click on extensions uh, section here. And you search PHP CS Fixer. There are many, but this one is the one you can look at the number of downloads this one has around uh, almost six hundred thousand downloads so that is the one that you want to install okay so and after installing it you can see i've installed it after installing it you'll search for settings.json and you want to do uh, to add there a few settings so you'll just come to this uh, article here and you want to copy all these um you want you just you can copy all of this code here and come into your settings.json and paste there um but you will change a few things so where it says that uh, your username here let me show you so like here it says your username here and your username here so where is your username so if we go to uh, if you are on windows and we go to to local disk see or where you installed your operating system you can see the users folder so to know um your username you just click here and you can see this is the username so for me i'm using user but it should be it could be 
your name or whatever you the name that you registered with while installing the operating system so in this case it will be a user so you just come to there to here and then where you find it where, where there is this uh, your username here your username here you just want to replace it with your username so in my case it is user here it is user and uh, i think here also it is user and that's it so after doing that uh, it will start formatting your code so i can go to another file that is disorganized um this uh, wordpress extension that i'm working on so let's try to go to another file and it should be a php file so i'll just I'll probably copy this code here and you see it is not formatted and i'll come uh, I, i'll close that i'll uh, collapse that and come to single.php and i'll just paste that a uh, code and you can see how it is disorganized right now but just look at what is going to happen when i save it so i'll just save it by doing a uh, control s or you can just come here and uh, and just click on save and you can see it has formatted the code so thank you so much and if you're not subscribed to my channel uh, please subscribe and let me see you in the next video